ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to SmackDown. This is Tommy Hero. What is up? What is up? This is going to be a great show we're looking in for now. I can't wait. And I know a lot of other people can't wait. Tommy, welcome back to SmackDown. And here we go with our first matchup tonight. The newest SmackDown Elite member, the Rated R Superstar Edge. Here he is. And, uh, yeah, it's. Well, we all know who his opponent is. Match is underway, ladies and gentlemen. Yet again, if you're just tuning in now, this is Mojo Raleigh versus Edge. And uh, my name is Tommy Hero, of course. So here we go. This match is underway. Mojo hold, holds Edge up using. Uh, Mojo is a strong guy. But Edge managed to reverse. Oh. Oh, man. Electric chair dropped into a face buster. Crazy. Edge is, a, Edge is an amazing competitor. He's been wrestling for a long time now. And with this new SmackDown Elite joint, I don't think he's going to be stopping anytime soon either. Oh, Mojo kicks Edge away. German suplex. Planting him with that knee there. Well, what an opening match this has been so far, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, maybe later on tonight we'll bring in someone else, but for this match only, it's just going to be me announcing, so hopefully later on we can bring in someone else, but for now it's just going to be me announcing me, Tommy Hero who somehow claimed the nickname, The Yuck Guy. I don't know how, I think uh, Red or Dirty Geet started it, I don't remember. But, oh, Fireman's Carry, right there. And Mojo turns Edge around. Oh man, what a spine buster there. Edge not being held back yet. But neither is Mojo Raleigh, because Mojo just reversed that too, it's a backdrop. Uh, these men are going back and forth here. Definitely ne neither of them wants to hold anything up. Uh oh, wait a minute here. This could be it right now though. An airplane spin definitely making an opponent dizzy. Oh, slams him. And that could be it, but he's not ending it. Here we go, running power slam. This could be it. Oh, that could be it. But no. He wants to add more insult to injury. To Mojo Raleigh, or to Edge, but he should have pinned him because Edge was in control for a minute there. And he still is. Oh no! Education! Man, both of you guys are making a little bit of mistakes. Both of them should have pinned the opponent by now.
think he's getting fans ready. He is. He's getting fans hyped up for the spear. But I think that's what's gonna happen now. Oh, spear! Wait, what? No. What happened? I think he moved out of the way or something. No!
Okay, and here we go with our next match, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, here we go. It's going to be a big one. And here they come. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, Connors in action tonight. And look, he's actually wearing blue this time. Oh, and look who's joining me. It's Brett. How's it going, boys? Pretty good, pretty good. So, uh, did, did you see the first match? Yeah. What was your opinion on it? I listened to you commentate. And... I, I had a little bit of a pet peeve. I know you probably couldn't see it from your monitor, but it was but the spear was countered once into a DDT. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, it that it looks stupid in my opinion. Though. I don't know, but anyways, on to the next part. Here is Sin Cara. Sin Cara, one of the newest SmackDown signees, will be taking on Connor of the Ascension and one half of the tag team champions. So what's your? What, what is your? Oh, sorry, hmm? Oh, I was going to say, what's your opinion on this match? I, I kind of feel bad for Chris, though. He hates the two all of them, if that bad. You mean Sin Cara? Yeah. Brett, do you mean Sin Cara? Yeah, not Kalisto, Sin Cara. Man, Kalisto's on Raw. He's currently, like, the Raw Tag Team Champion. Yeah. Well, you have to remember, the Ascension do have a big target on the back, because on the next, on the SmackDown after bragging rights, they will have to take on the Usos for the Intercontinental, uh, for the tag team titles. Yeah, and also, it was announced on Monday Night Raw that Raw will be every on the Raw after bragging rights, every championship will be on the line against random opponents. On Raw? Yes. Yeah. I don't think Raw Dynamo will want to do it that way. I think he likes more set in stone competitors, to be honest. Oh! Sit up powerbomb by Sin Cara. Well, we might only, well, we might only have two championships on Raw. Why? Because of Sheamus winning the United States Championship. Oh yes, correct. Sin Cara is fighting. Sin Cara, ladies and gentlemen, I believe is in the Fatal 4-Way on Bragging Rights. He is. Yeah, and Con Connor and Victor are going to be busy, so I think this is a warm-up match for both of them. Yeah. Oh yeah, because this actually will be battling Kalisto and Flyer Divers. Flyer Divers, yeah. So it'll be, um... Oh! Power That'd be a Sin tough Cara. path for the Ascension. Yeah, I know, Sin Cara definitely showing the power, too. Oh! Uh-oh, this could be it right here. Sin Cara going up top. Swanton! Yeah. Oh, Swanton! Oh, and the distraction from Victor! Hey, Car. Hey, oh, get up. not working though. Sin Car is fighting against the odds. Sin Car is a fighter. Oh my. And the roulette is also. Don't forget. And the roulette also means a different match. But still won't prepare to smack down. Yeah. Oh, busting Connor open with that elbows. Apparently he's doing a Brock to Randy now. Busting him open with elbows. What are you talking about? I never have... Oh, what the... Oh, what the... Oh, he moved out of the way of the chair! And the referee throws it! Oh my god, the referee is corruption! It's 
like it's like the referee helped Connor. Yeah, uh, this is crazy. This is crazy. That match would have been over if Connor hit with the chair. The referee helped him. Well, I don't know. He's the one that wasn't taking any of it. He threw him away from the chair and threw the chair out of the ring. Yeah, but oh then no. It led to this. I don't know if this Bull is purposeful. Nelson, slam to oh. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Two. Three. It's over. Sankara had a lot of fight, but it was only a matter of time before the numbers advantage. Yep. That's how uh, the Assumption have been winning most of their matches, their one-on-one -on -one matches, you know. Victor beat Ty Dillinger way back by numbers and advantage, and then this match, the numbers advantage went over on Sankar, and then the last match that they were in against Kevin Owens, their numbers advantage went over there, too. Yeah. What a crazy match. What was your opinion on this match, though? I thought it was a pretty good matchup. Yeah, it wasn't too long. It was good. It was like... Too short for it to be a five star match, but but too good to be anything more less than a four star match. No, I would say any less than a three star, but three yeah. Three star. Three star. You know, we got we got we got to see uh, a Swanton bomb out of it too. We, I always love seeing Saint Car hit a Swanton. I can't tell if that's blood coming out of his head or is that the logo? That looks like blood, but that also looks pretty dope. So, anyways, let's get on to our next match. Oh no, here comes the GM, row 99, Brett. Yeah. Let's see what he's got to say. Ladies and gentlemen of SmackDown, there's been a lot going on recently, and there's going to be a lot going on tonight. Like, for example, tonight, I will be in a cage match against Kevin Owens. But also, on top of that, to build up even a bigger night of SmackDown right before bragging right. I'm going to book a battle royal. An intercontinental number one contenders battle royal. Now the way this will work is Sheamus will be in it as well. If Sheamus wins, he can pick anyone in SmackDown to face for that title. But if one of the other five guys win, they get to face Sheamus after the on the SmackDown after the bragging rights pay-per-view. Sheamus, Oh, of course, yes. Sheamus, you all are jealous because... Now SmackDown... SmackDown... You know, it's already better than Raw. But now Sheamus showed that he's better than Raw as well. But let me talk about bragging rights real short. Bragging rights. I'll keep this real short, real sweet for all of you... Idiotic fans. <laughs> And uh, see on bragging rights, SmackDown will win, hands down. We're going to have a clean sweep. We're going to destroy Raw because they're puny little ants and we're the top dogs around here. Thank you very much for your time. Huh? And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we are back. And here we go with that battle royal that Row 99 just announced would be next. Here he is, Remember, the Intercontinental okay. and U.S. Champion. Oh, yeah. look at this. Oh. He's, wearing, he's wearing the United States Championship to humiliate Raw. Yeah. He didn't even bother wearing the SmackDown title, but I guess that's okay. I think he just wanted to gloat. Yep. So remember, guys, if Sheamus wins this match, he gets to pick his opponent for the Intercontinental title. But if one of these five guys win, they get picked. Let's see who the, who the five guys are. Oh, oh. This guy's been impressive the last couple weeks. Yeah, he uh, did well in that three-on-three three three tag match. And he did quite well against Braun Strowman, so... Yeah, I can see. I can see why he was placed in this battle royal. Let's see who's next. Oh! Here comes a rising star in SmackDown. 
Apollo Crews. Yeah, he did well against his match against Sin Cara. What, what are your thoughts on Apollo? I think he's a pretty good competitor. Yeah. Def he showed a nice show of respect to Sin Cara. Yeah. I thought, remember we all thought he was going to attack him? Oh boy. Oh man. We haven't seen this guy since he lost to Sheamus. After Dean Ambrose won the Intercontinental Championship from Sheamus, Sheamus regained the title at Night of Champions. Now Dean Ambrose is Yeah, he regained it. On. I guess, but I could see, but I, I'm surprised that Dean Ambrose will be going after the World Heavyweight Championship. No, I, I just think he wants his revenge for the Intercontinental for the moment. Yeah. Plus, I, I honestly don't think Dean Ambrose wants to get himself involved with that whole SmackDown Elite thing. That's why he's been staying out of the big picture. Yeah, that's true. Because he knows as soon as he tries to go after Kevin Owens, it's going to start something with him and Cage. Because I guess oh, Cage... Boy. Oh, man. Is it really him? Yeah, hopefully it's not the other one. It is. It is Ty Dillinger. Not yeah, here comes Kings. Ty Dillinger. It is Ty Dillinger. Yeah, I'm just happy it's not the other one. Yeah. Alright, well, let's see who his opponent is. Oh, man. Here he comes. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Alberto? Uh, find him a, a good competitor. Yeah. But oh, then we start off with battle railways and Wait, Hill. but but what? But what? But he will do literally anything. He will cheat to win. Yeah, that's true. He will do everything. He hasn't been seen since the the Fatal Four Way number contender for the World Heavyweight Title. Yeah, in uh, uh fourth week of September. Yeah, it's been a while. There's been a few guys we haven't seen for a little bit now. Dean Ambrose, yeah. Everyone else we've seen in the last few weeks. Yeah, we haven't seen the Miz and Chris Jericho since they broke up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Seamus. Oh, look at this double team. People know he's a SmackDown Elite. And are they going to eliminate the Intercontinental Championship? Apollo and Dean Ambrose, are they going to eliminate Seamus right out the gate? No, Seamus breaks free. Oh, man, Alberto yeah, breaking that arm. Everyone wants to get Seamus over the ring. Yeah, you know, nobody wants Sheamus right now. You know what Sheamus, if, if, he, if he won the Battle Royale, he would defend his title against probably someone like James Elgin. Probably. Because if he wins, yeah, it's his choice of who he wants to face. So, yeah, you can, you can very much pick, like, James Ellsworth. Which I hope isn't what it comes to, but you never know. Oh, DDT. Also, guys, uh, just wanted to let you know that so called Steve Austin from the Ozzy on Dragon Dragon said only returned on Monday Night Raw, but it's not him. Yeah. He, he got attacked. And he, By who? I don't know. We don't know. But all I, I've been told is that that man will replace that Dragon Dragon. Yeah. Oh, I anyway, oh, he slayer got eliminated. Oh, uh, he slayer put up a good fight, but he is not going to be the future Intercontinental Champion. All these guys are fighting for a number of contendership spot, and Sheamus is fighting well to keep his to keep his title. <laughs> well, not really keep his title. Well. 
technically because some any one of these guys could have defeated could, can probably defeat Sheamus. We all know if Sheamus wins, he's gonna make him face somebody that he knows he can beat. He'll probably have like a SmackDown lead number laid down for him, or... or Jim, yeah, something like that. Oh no, but wait a minute, wait a minute, Alberto's got Sheamus up in the corner there. Oh, no. Sheamus tries to get rid of Del Rio. Del Rio could be in some trouble right now. No, Alberto stays in the match for now. Oh, look at this, so double team out on Apollo Crews. Well, Sheamus is looking to get Del Rio out of here. Can Sheamus get Del Rio out of here? Can he do it? Oh, oh, Del Rio! Get by Del Rio! Bye bye. Good try, come back again. Whoa, oh, whoa, tell. did you see that? Yep. Oh! Did you see that? Did you see that? What? Neckbreaker counter is a low blow. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is really, uh, really yeah. desperate to get this title. Oh no, Shane is going for it. White noise, this could be White a- White noise! Oh. Now he's- Oh, I thought he was going to try to eliminate Apollo now, but Apollo manages to get out of it. Oh no, Apollo is in trouble. Apollo's in trouble. And bump by Apollo. Apollo cruises out. Well, there's only three people left. It's Sheamus, Dean Ambrose, and Ty Dillinger. The three guys that I honestly thought were going to be the three guys left. And there goes Ty Dillinger. And Ty Dillinger. Like usual, he's so close to achieving his goal, but he just can't do it. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? The camera was focusing on Ty, but we saw it. We saw that that cheap shot, that sucker punch to Dean Ambrose. Yes. Yes, we did. Well, it's the two guys who really do not like each other. These Dean Ambrose and Shane. battled for the Intercontinental Championship. Several times, yeah. Several times. Each of them trading a the title victory. Oh, Spy Buster! And this These is what it culminates in. Will, will, Am will Ambrose get his next shot? Will he get one more shot for that Intercontinental title? Or will Seamus be victorious in this Battle Royal and eliminate him? We have to see these guys are going back and forth. They know each other so well. Yes. Each one have traded one title victory. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Sheamus, let go. Oh no. Power bomb and Sheamus! Oh my god! One. The battle royal. This is not good. This is really not good. Here he is, just still. He will still be the Intercontinental Champion for a few weeks. As a United States Champion, I don't know. Since he will defend his title at Dragon Rose against John Cena. Yeah, that's the, only, that's the only title I believe that will be defended. That is correct. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event. It is now time for your main event. Wait, I just got a text. I just got a text from Road 99. Yeah. What's that? He just said. He just said. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Something came up. I won't be able to be in the steel cage match. Not surprising. But he just said. He just said. But Kevin Owens, you can be in that ring, and you can think you're waiting for me, but you'll be waiting for someone else, and you'll see who it is. I wonder who it can be. I think uh, I think I got a pretty good idea who it is, but I'm not gonna say anyway. 
Yep. Oh dear. Yep. I was right. Well, it's cage in a cage match. Oh dear. Brian Cage, <clears throat> he's been a monster since first appearing in WWE itself. He destroyed a Fatal 4-Way on NXT. And he absolutely destroyed Mojo Rawley on the last SmackDown. I'm surprised he even showed up to the SmackDown. Yeah. Go back to Raw, Mojo. No one likes you. <laughs> Very much. Oh, but Kevin Owens. So how do you win this match? Is this, can you win this match by pinfall and submission as well? Yes, you can. Okay. Pinfall, submission, or escape the cage. Alright. Now, Kev now, Kevin Owens is one of the deadliest forces on SmackDown. Yeah, that is true. I mean, look at this. He's had to go up against SmackDown Elite. And yep. fight them over and over and over. And right now, I think he's just letting out his aggression on Cage. Yeah. Cage, he's a big dude and he's not gonna be put down for too long, you know? Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the most brutal matches Kevin Owens had to go through. Maybe not as brutal as him going through a flame and cage, but pretty close. Yep. But Cage, it looks like everything Cage is doing, Owens is reversing. Yeah. We cannot forget that Owens is used to taking on big men and making them look horrible. But remember his match against Braun Strowman. That was that was that was just surprising. He destroyed Braun. That matchup was just I was legit shocked when I saw how he dominated how he dominated Braun. Yeah. I didn't see it coming. Fireman's carry, oh no. Oh, reversal for Kevin. Oh. Some elbows. Oh no. Package, or package, power bomb. Package bomb, excuse me. Not as good as package pile driver, but that's okay. Yeah, I've been told that that move can be banned. How? It just happened on my. Well, it may be banned on Raw, but that's a crappy brand, so. Oh, oh, I, don't, I didn't know that the package pile driver happened that time. Oh, yes, it did that time. It happened just on the last show. I know, I forgot. I, I forgot. I thought that was a power bomb. I'm stupid. Come on, in universe mode, no moves are banned. Come yeah. on. And you can do the punch kick. Seth Rollins can do the first bomb. And Kevin Owens can do the Oh no, wait a minute. And Kevin Owens, I, I don't blame him for escaping. And he's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Running from cage. You know what? Kevin Owens picks up the victory here tonight. Pretty short match. Yeah, that main event was that battle royal, but Kevin Owens just... I don't blame I think him. he just... I just think he wanted to pull up a, a victory over the SmackDown Elite just to laugh at them, because this is his first big victory over SmackDown Elite. Well, what about last week? Against two. Mojo from the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, but I don't count that because Mojo's not in the SmackDown Elite anymore, so. Plus, is it really that surprising, Brett, that Mojo lost? Yeah, well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. I hope you enjoyed SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. And now. And we will see you guys in Breaking Rights. <laughs>